Yeah, about 1968, 69, um, I got made up as a star, yeah, uh, from Al my, my YP, Alsby YP. And being made up, I was put into C-Wing. Uh, they gave me quite a good job. I was a big lump. I was quite big. Um, what well, I don't know. I must have been 18 stone. Big, powerful band, yeah? And they gave me a job in the stores, and I loved my job. So what I was in there wasn't very long. They gave me a parole uh, in the scrub, so I was there about seven, eight months. And um, because I was in the stores, I had to sort out all the clothes, the jeans, the shirts, and that's the same as the laundry. Because I took them to the laundry, I met all the train robbers. Just imagine that. All the train robbers, something like you couldn't believe it. You know, you read it in the papers, you see their faces in the papers, but actually going in there, actually talking to them about the train robbery. You know what I mean? I was a young kid, powerful, big guy, you know. And Buster Edwards, I took to him, he's a nice, nice guy. He used to work the, uh, the the calendar, you know, putting stuff through the calendar, and I was just standing there talking to him. Uh, screws didn't like it too much, you know what I mean, because they're big convicts. I'm just a young kid covering my YP, you know, that goes on, does a bit, you know, and but Buster Edwards, I liked him. But because I was in the powerlifting team, I used to go down the gym quite a lot at night times as well. So the D Wing, D Wing, uh, Lifers and all them sort of people used to go down to the down to the gym. So thirty years is like a life sentence, or more than a life sentence, you know. So all that lot for the train robbers. Most of us used to go down to the gym, but Buster Edwards was always down there. He was a big, powerful guy, big chest, yeah. And I was spot him, you know. I was just spot him when he was doing his bench press and all that. And I was doing three plates quite easy, benching three plates. I was I could do one eighty as a kid, yeah, one eighty bench. And he was doing 140, you know, three plates, a press, bang, press, bang, you know, and it was like, and he and he said to me, you're really, really powerful. I said, yeah, yeah, I was in the Paladin team, and, and I was with my YP. I said, how long have you done now? He said, I've done about six or seven years. I went, Christ, you know, and I've done about, what, I've done about two, two and a bit, you know, just before I got released. And I thought to myself, crikey, man, you know, Six years, it seems like a lifetime, but I'd, obviously I've done more as it gone on, you know, a lot more than that, you know. But he'd done about six years at that time. Uh, I think it was, that was about 1968, 69. I think it was, he'd done about, well, I think he was born in 1963, something like that, 64. Uh, 1968, he'd done about, he'd done about eight, eight years. So he got released in 1975. So what's that? He, I suppose he's done about twelve years out of it, thirteen years out of that sentence, and that's quite a lot of lot of bird they got there. You know what I mean? For what they did, really, thirty years. I got it written down here that Mr. Justice Edmund Davis was the judge that gave me it. I mean, it, this wasn't the judge. This was Parliament. Isn't it? Parliament. You can imagine, can't you? You've got to put these people away for a long time. You've got to let see people see that. You know, you rob the Royal Mail train, the Royal Mail, you're going to get sentenced to a big sentence. 30 years. That's crazy. That's mad. 30, 30 years. And my uncle, before, you know, before, before I go on a bit, my uncle, my uncle Ronnie Brown, yeah? My uncle Ronnie Brown was one of the people that got Ronnie Biggs out of Wadsworth. Yeah, yeah, about that. My uncle Ronnie Brown was one of the ones that got Ronnie Biggs out of out of uh, out of Wandsworth, yeah. He was one of the ones that got on top of the van and pulled him up. Yeah, man, how about that? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a joke, isn't it? Yeah, my uncle my uncle Ronnie Brown, yeah, he's uh, he's uh I couldn't believe it, mate. You know, he's through the marriage, through marriage. It's uh I couldn't believe it, mate. It's just uh, another another sort of like a life history, you know what I mean? That to hear that, yeah. But I mean, later on, um, I got put away in 1974 uh, for, for, for a big sentence, but uh, Buster Edwards uh, didn't really, wasn't really at Waterloo Station until at 90, 1975, 76. And I missed that, you know, I missed that. Uh, actually going there and talking to him because by the time, I think by the time I come out, he'd hung himself, didn't he? He'd hung himself in a garage or something like that. 
you know, and it's his shame, isn't it? You know, like to, to lose everything. They lost everything, didn't they? They had nothing, you know what I mean? They lost so much. The only one really got anything out of that was Biggs. Only Biggs. He was the only one that got a, a, a nice life out of that, you know, going to Brazil and all that happened to him. Then he got Mills. Got, was it Mills that tried to kidnap him? I had trouble with Mills when I worked at the venue Victoria. Me and Mills didn't get on too well. Verbal fights and bits and pieces. Mills, S-A-S-S-A-S you know, and Royal Guard and all that game, poor, you know, and when I was in a venue, we had trouble with him, and anyway, but, so that's, uh, with Richard Branston, I think Richard Branston has something to do with Mills going over there to get Bigsy out, and it's a big thing, when it, come on, anybody that could get Bigsy back was like, you know, worth his weight in gold, wasn't it? yeah, yeah, I've got Bigsy back, <coughs> fancy having that, fancy being one of them people to say, yeah, I've got Bigsy back from the Brazil, yes, yeah, like, Crazy, isn't it? You know, but I've got to say, Biggs, he had a good life, didn't he? Went to Brazil. Uh, obviously, I tried to get him back a couple of times. Didn't get him back. Lived a good life. Done what he liked, mate. Uh, made love to plenty of Brazilian women. Just had a good time, you know what I mean? And people like the other train robbers, they got locked up, banged up, and that was it, yeah? But, um, yeah, fair play to... Uh, fair, play for, to fair play to all of them for what they did there. You know, I mean, it was fantastic robbery. I mean, you know, well, you know, to get away with all that money, like in them days, it's the biggest robbery ever, isn't it? It's the biggest train robbery ever. Mad, isn't it? Mad. Mad. All that money, and you know, they didn't even realise that they was going to get that. But how many robberies have been like that? You know, the Brinks Max the same, isn't it? Went there, didn't realise that they get that much money. It's just, you know, imagine the shock of it. Going there was wanting gold bars and all that. It's madness, isn't it? It's crazy. Anyway, bang, bang, my help. Please uh, push the like button. Nice one.